Hello, friends. Welcome to day 15 of 62 Days of Transformation. This is day one of week three. We've just completed two weeks together, and now we're launching out uh, on day 15. And I trust that these truths are helping you and uh, encouraging you in your walk with the Lord. Today's truth is I have overcome the world. I have overcome the world. And our supporting scripture is found in 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, that says, Little children, you are of God. You belong to him and have already defeated and overcome them, the agents of the Antichrist, because he who lives in you is greater and mightier than he who is in the world. So last week we were talking about being sons of God and having God's nature in us and that nature abiding in us. And today we're talking about overcoming. All of these things should be uh, weaving together to help build the tapestry of a, of a really good foundation in your life. This understanding here about overcoming the world, overcoming this spirit of Antichrist, this persecution that comes as a result uh, of righteousness sake, as a, uh, a result of representing the kingdom of God, the scripture says that we have already overcome this, uh, not to be dismayed and not to be uh, shaken in faith, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And you may need to say that to yourself when you come up against certain things that are, that are taking place in your life. Uh, maybe you have certain challenges and unexpected crises and other things that they just, they come, they happen because we're living in a fallen world. But in Christ, you have overcome this fallen world. Yes, those things are going to happen, but you have provision for you. You have God's presence. You have the Holy Ghost. He's residing in you and with you. In that, because of Jesus' victory, you have already overcome. Life is just downright hard sometimes. But we have this sure word of prophecy. And we are God's. We're God's people. We're his. He's bought us and redeemed us to himself. Though we're living in the fallen conditions of this world and the darkness and all of the other things that are taking place, we have overcome it. We're above it. And um, in, verse, in chapter 5, verse 5, it says, Whosoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world even our faith. Who is he that overcomes the world? But he that believes that Jesus is the Son of God. And when we, we, we make that, that assertion of faith and come, uh, and we are born again and come into that place of sonship with God, he's in us, we are in him, and we have overcome uh, because Jesus has overcome and, and gained victory over death, hell, and the grave. Jesus says there in Colossians that he he spoiled the principalities and powers and made an open show of them, triumphing over them in the work of the cross. And uh, I also want to share a powerful scripture with you found in John chapter 16, a really simple scripture uh, found in John 16, verse 33. These things have I spoken unto you that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. And it's really awesome the way it's worded there in the scripture. It says, in me and also in the world. In me, there's peace. In me, in me, you have a peace that's, that, that the world can't comprehend. The world doesn't know anything about. It's a peace that only can be given uh, by God. It's, 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 it's a wholeness. It's a shalom of God that the world cannot receive. Only God can give it to you. And then we have in the world. In Christ, we have peace. In the world, we have tribulation. Well, what are we going to do in the midst of the tribulation? We've got to find our comfort and our peace in God. And then in that, he says, you can be of good cheer. In other words, you can have joy in tribulation. When you understand the provision of God, when you, when, when, when you can lay a hold of that provision of peace and joy from God that comes only because uh, you're in him. You can have good cheer and knowing that 
he has overcome the world. In the Amplified Bible, it says, I have deprived it of power to harm you and have conquered it for you. I really love the way that's worded there. Don't get frustrated in the trials and distresses, but rejoice and be confident and be certain because I have deprived the world of the power to harm you and have conquered it for you. What a great way to part this morning. What a good, great way to start the day, knowing that uh, God has given us victory over these things in life. And I don't know what you're under today, but my encouragement to you is to come over to God. <laughs> don't be under the circumstance. Be an overcomer through God's provision. It's there for you. Receive it by faith. Uh, read, get into the Word of God and, and, and begin to dig some of those things out for yourself so that you can walk in that progressive victory that God has for you to live out in your life. So God bless you today. I love you and I appreciate you. And I really value the time that you've taken to spend with me. Go forth in a new power, knowing that you are an overcomer. Christ has overcome the world. So have you. Be victorious today in Jesus' name. Amen.